unbelievable. What is up with the AI? Welcome back, guys. Welcome, welcome back. And hello again from a person who's gotten better after uh, testing positive for COVID-19, of course. I am feeling a lot better now. Thanks for your patience over the past couple a week and a half or so tested negative again and i am okay so we're back with more my team today and it's an important day because it is time to renegotiate contracts with our teammates or choose another driver and we have 4.5 million in the bank for this transfer negotiation or driver contract negotiation it has been a while since i've played this so it's I gotta get back up to speed here and see how our car looks. Uh, we have two sponsors. We are currently sitting P14 in the driver standings with 20 points and P9 in the constructors, which is quite impressive considering our car is the worst car on the grid at this time. So quickly before we continue, let's take a look at what upgrades we can get here. I think we can get a couple. All right, so all of the aerodynamics, chassis, and powertrain uh, departments have their hands full. They're doing as many upgrades as they can. So I think we got one uh, upgrade to the durability that we can trigger. So let's go for the cheapest one, which will come before the spa franco Champ circuit, the Belgian Grand Prix. So hopefully that'll come through. Hopefully we get all of these upgrades that you see on the left side of the screen here. We got four coming in before the French Grand Prix. So let us see. So the moment you have all been waiting for, which is the driver contract negotiation. Do we want to stay with Tictum or do we want to dip into some other drivers? For example, the legends are available at this time. Coulthard, Massa, Hulkenberg, and Weber. They're 4 million uh, each. Uh, let me see, market value. Anyone else that we can sign? Uh, 4.5 million only gives us the bronze icons. And then Joe, Tictum, and Schwartzman. Hmm, you know what? I think I'm gonna give Tictum the benefit of the doubt here. I'm just gonna let him see out the rest of the season with us. I think he's been okay. All right, so let's go for a high risk officer here. 1.9 mil. Let's see if he signs and he's declined. Of course, I knew that was gonna happen. Let's go one day. So we'll go for a 2.04 mil, just a middle, middle of the road. And he signed for the rest of the season. Nice, that's good. Let's see if these upgrades come through before the next uh, race. Good news, guys. We got two elements coming through. Monocoque structure, which is a huge, massive upgrade to come through. And a magnetic compound as well, which is also a big one to come through in time for the French Grand Prix today. Fuel efficiency seems like a good thing to have. So we'll get that in before the Belgian Grand Prix. And I think we'll get the roll dampers for tire wear. Um, that's also a good one to have for the Belgian Grand Prix. Uh, gives us more strategic uh, flexibility. So we got the rear wing upper flap come through in the aerodynamics, which is good. And that was it so far. We have one more thing uh, to come through here. So we'll wait for that. Bad news, pistons have not come through. Uh, so that's a shame. We'll re-trigger this for the Hungarian Grand Prix next time out, which is good. We got lightweight pistons though from the suppliers, I think. Yeah, I think this just came through. So it's a minor upgrade for engine power, I think. So we'll cl get closer to the French Grand Prix. Let's try a rival duo for the Pirelli Hot Lap. I think that's a super... Okay, we're doing the Ferrari Roma. And I guess we have to try and beat our like rival, I guess. So let's see. All right, here we go. Rival duel. Prepare to do battle against a single opponent in equal machinery. The event takes place over three rounds with varying starting positions. Win as many rounds as possible to achieve the best possible medal. Three rounds. So if we get all three wins, it's a thousand acclaim and a hundred thousand dollars. Two wins is five hundred with fifty thousand, etc., etc. So let's go. All right, here we go. I'm excited for this. Boom. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh, it's the sector one area. I am, I have not played this game in forever. So I apologize if my driving's not that great. Oh, 
Okay, we're doing well, we're doing well. Do I have DRS? <laughs> no, I do not. Okay, I am beating him, but where's the finish line? Whoa. Oh boy. Is he driving a Ferrari Roma? Is it just a different color? Yeah, I think so. I have like the burgundy color in my car, so... Okay, we're doing okay here. Whoa! Track limits I think is gonna be important here. Oh, that's a finish line. Nice. We got him. Nice. Okay, we've won our first round. We need two more rounds to win, so let's see. Okay, where is he? Oh, he's right next to me. Okay. You suck, buddy. Eat my dust, man. He's had a poor start. I've had a decent start. Oh boy. This turn is always a difficult one. Okay. Ooh. Nearly exceeded track limits there. Tremblay, you suck. Oh, he's using the slipstream. Oh, I'm second. No, I'm first again. I had rights to that corner like George Russell said, <laughs> apparently. But that was more of a solid one because George Russell kinda didn't leave space. He wasn't right. I don't know if I'll cut this segment a bit, like how I cut the race. Or edit the race, sorry. Oh, this is great. There we go, great exit, and we've won the second one, let's go. Alright, 500 acclaim and $50,000 already confirmed. I'm assuming we need to make an overtake for the final one, so let's see. Yep, I am starting behind. So, starting at the same position Tremblay did in the first round, I think. Five red lights, and we're off. Fantastic start. I'm assuming collision's on. This is not ghosting. Oh, around the outside. Uh oh. Come on. Oh, I got better traction. Yes. Fantastic overtake. Nice. Within track limits as well. You love to see it. See ya, mate. Eat my dust. Oh, he's gonna go for the inside move. He's gonna do a George Russell here. George Russell, Sergio Perez. Oh, boy. You know what this feels like? This feels like being the stick on uh, Top Gear. I feel like I'm the stick. <laughs> Oh boy. He's still behind me, Tremblay. Maybe I'm auditioning to be the stake, the next stake, you know? Oh god. Oh boy. Whoa, that was dangerous. <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson, James May, and uh, Hammond going crazy in the corner over there. But there we go. Big win. Three wins in a row. You love to see it. And there we have it. Three wins. Win, win, win. A thousand acclaim and a hundred thousand in cash. You love to see it. So let's advance. Well, it's time for a race weekend then. Formula One time. Let me quickly check our car performance. We're still behind Williams, but not by much, I'd say. We are very much on level terms with them, I think. Which would bring us closer to Alpine as well. I'm not sure. Or is that Al Aston Martin, maybe? I don't know. 
seems like Aston Martin have overtaken Alpine, so never mind. We'll be right next to Williams. Uh, so yeah, let's see if we can pull off a good performance here. France, Paul Ricard, good circuit for us. Uh, I've had some good success here, so let's see if that stays in this game as well. Welcome guys to the qualifying session of Paul Ricard of the French Grand Prix. Uh, while I was away, I think the game outdated a bit. So there were some bug fixes, especially Azerbaijan. There was that weird glitchy barrier that got fixed. Uh, and I think also the AI got patched a little, but I don't think so because I think the fastest time in time trial is like a 131, but the AI is doing 129s on 110 AI. So not quite sure what that is all about. I think the AI is still not fixed at all. It is a bit unrealistic at this time. So what we've done is we've dropped the AI level to 105 for qualifying just to see how competitive we are. And then we're going to bump it back up to 110 on race day because we can still be competitive on 110 AI on race day only. So we're going to drop it a bit for qualifying and see if the AI becomes more reasonable with their times. Uh, so yeah, overall, I would say I still have it here in France. A uh, little bit of a tire issue, I think. I think that's because the car isn't in the, in the greatest shape yet we have a long way to go with development and R&D so I think that is what's causing the majority of um, uh, tire wear issues so we'll see uh, we're gonna head on out it's gonna be dry for qualifying but the race is gonna start wet and then head on to drier conditions I believe or it's gonna start raining halfway through the race or something like that I don't know we'll see but right now we're gonna focus on a strong qualifying session hopefully we'll be in the top half of the q1 finishers or eliminated q1 drivers so we'll see if we can get closer to p16 uh today all right here we go making our final turn here good exit please let's see 129 is the beat right now pole position is 129 but we set a 132 a little faster than my time in practice, but still not good enough. I don't have the pace, guys. I don't have the pace. I need to gain two seconds on this lap, but nope. I slid out of the final corner as well. Two tenths improved. Not good enough to get us anywhere closer. Ay ay ay. Um, should I do another lap? I don't know if I should. I feel like it's a waste of engine components. I mean, I did put a new engine on. But the driver in front. And that's Daniel ahead. Okay, their best lap time so far is a one minute thirty point nine. One minute thirty point nine. I have to gain eight tenths out of a lap, and I don't think I have that in me. It's unbelievable how quick the AI is in qualifying. This is 105 AI, by the way. Look at this. We have dropped our simulation settings to 105 AI, and still the AI is too OP. Uh, because I think the world record right now in time trial is a 131 and everyone's doing a 129, 130 so I think it's borderline impossible for me to get anywhere up uh, towards the front of the grid so yeah I guess this is what happens when the car is really bad and we suck <laughs> it's been a while but anyway yeah let's go to r race day I'm gonna see Let's see how different the AI is there. So there we go. Uh, 129. 1 is the fastest lap for Carlos Sainz, which is quite impressive. 131.7 for us. Uh, 130.5 uh, for our teammate ahead of us by 8.10. So yeah, I don't know where these guys get the pace from. I don't know. Maybe I am on the slower side. I'm not sure. I'm going to check. Gasly, Latifi, Vettel, and Joe are out alongside Tiktum and myself. So let's just head into race day, see what happens. And before we go, let me just see. Leclerc had an illegal blocking incident that cost him a grid penalty. But anyway, let's see what happens on race day. Hello and welcome from the circuit Paul Ricard, current home of the French Grand Prix, an event dating all the way back to 1906. Now it's been held at many venues over the years with famous moments from Dijon and Manicor, the feature of many a highlights reel. So let's hope we see more of those in the race today. The circuit Paul Ricard then, a 3.6 mile track, 25 miles east of Marseille. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, with the main overtaking chance expected to be going into turn 8. Top speeds today should be around 205 miles per hour. 
Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Russell, Sergio Perez, and Leclerc, Bottas, Magnussen, Fernando Alonso, and Lance Stroll, Mick Schumacher, Ocon, Alex Albon, and Gasly. Hamilton, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Ricardo, Sebastian Vettel, and Guan Yu Zhou. Frostbite, Sonoda, they've taken a grid penalty. Tictum and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? And a warm welcome to Natalie Pinkham, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Now I want to ask you about Daniel Tictum. They've had to change their gearbox, of course, but it's never a good start to a Grand Prix when right off the bat, you have to contend with a grid penalty. Fingers crossed that's one failure they won't have to worry about today at least. There's not much of a silver lining to starting down the field with a penalty, but I think they'll be able to make some of that back up over the course of the race. All right, so um, one correction I have to make is that, in fact, I was wrong. Uh, 131 is my personal record, and uh, I think the world record is at, like, 129 if you get rid of the hackers that have spoiled the time trial leaderboards. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's around 129.0. Uh, so I guess if you're an eSports driver, the pinnacle of... Uh, racing drivers racing sim driver then you will be able to stay competitive against this ai but i am not and i'm playing on controllers so i guess i'll have to struggle with uh the current situation um okay so it seems like it's going to be a dry start uh it's going to be a painful dry start but i guess we'll start on the medium see how the conditions progress um I don't know if it's going to get intermediate condition, which would mean that softs would be nice to have. Um, do I risk it? Do you think we should risk it? I think we risk it. I say we start on the softs, try to get some positions early on, and then hope that the rain gets harder. Otherwise, we're going to move on to the mediums and see out the rest of the ma uh, race. Or the hards. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm taking a risk today. Despite all the upgrades, we're still slow. Uh, that is what we have uh, uh, figured out in practice and qualifying. So uh, let's start this race. But before I do, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are back up to 110. So let's see if this works out. Let's go. I'm excited. A couple grid positions gained because of grid penalties up and down the grid. Uh, Tictum takes grid penalty, Latifi and Sonoda. But I think I'm the only one on the soft tire to start this race. Okay, so everything looks good let's on the see. Power unit cycles, so let's on tires and brakes up to temperature. Okay, um, let's check the weather report. We're expecting the rain to hit us any time now. Dries definitely seem like the fastest tire at the moment. Rain is going to hit any time now, so I think for the race start we'll hit see some rain. Let's hope that the interstint come at some point, because then we would have made an exceptional strategy call. Weather report. The rain's going to keep getting heavier for the next 15 minutes at least. Okay, dry seem like the best tire for now. We've made a brilliant strategy call. Just as we were doing the formation lap, the rain has started to come down on the track. So this is looking good. It looks like we've made a brilliant strategy call here. Let's see. Ah, I still got it. I still got a purple parking. All right, let's rinse through these softs. See if we can stay competitive against everyone here. Five red lights and we are underway. I beg the enters come quickly. Oh boy, decent start. It's going to be chaotic going into turn one. We're going to follow Lewis Hamilton. There's a piece of a wing that just flew off of someone. I don't know who. Around the outside. Alright, we have not gained any more positions yet, but it's sector two time. We might lose a position here to Zhou Guan Yu. Rain is still coming, I think. 
Oh god, I'm in a sandwich. Never a good thing to be in. Oh my god, the McLaren has gone wide. Come on, let's stay with Hamilton, please. Come on, I'm on softs. So I should have some pace here. Okay. Ooh. Hamilton and Alcon going side by side there. Oh boy. That's a battle and a half between the two drivers. And Hamilton makes it stick. Come on, let's stay close to Alcon, please. Oh, a little, a little slip out of there. Oh, Gasly was also on the softs, I think. He's in the pits. Uh, Sonoda on the mediums is coming after me. Gotta leave him space there, of course. Oh, boy. Oh, someone's going slow. Oh! Stop. Stop. Alright, we're still close to Alcon here. We're still close to the, like, later group here. Vehicle condition. And that's 26 laps of fuel remaining. Okay, the rain is getting harder. Hold on. No need to worry about the tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. I'm gonna use up my ERS a little bit here because... In the dries, it's hard to recuperate, but in the wets, we can always make ERS quite easily because there's a lot of lifting and coasting in the wet stint. Oh shucks, I just realized I forgot to underfuel the car. It's been a while, guys. Come on, why is Alcon. Why does Alcon have so much grip? Maybe the car is lacking downforce. I mean, I don't have all the aerodynamics upgrades, so I'm expecting to be in the struggle train for a while. Come on, let's push. Rain is getting harder. Despite the rain, I guess the FIA deep is still safe for DRS here. So let's try to get within DRS range of Alcon. I don't think I have it in this occasion. He's pulled away in that corner. Oh god, Ricardo's gonna get past me here. He has DRS. Okay, be mindful of the conditions. The track's getting wetter. Recommend you stay out for now though. We'll be much slower if we move on to inters this early. Around the outside of Ricardo. Nice. I need to pull that off just before a DRS detection zone. If I want to get some DRS assistance here. Let's see. It's getting wetter though. I have, I do have to lift off slightly trying to make that turn there. But I think it's still pretty dry. Let's hope that this is the case for a little while longer. No Alright, I'm losing out to Daniel Ricardo here. Much superior care. DRS as well, so he's getting past. Oh, Zhou Guan Yu making a three wide as we enter this chicane here. Oh my god, grip is a problem right now, guys. Grip is a problem. Oh dear. Um, this is getting problematic. We're coming to a stage where we have to decide if moving on to the inters is a good idea, but I don't think so yet. We'll see how the drivers ahead are doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ricardo's retiring. Wait, people are pitting. Okay, clear. Okay, some information on Ricardo. Okay, it looks like the problem's terminal. They're retiring. Okay, the we're box this lap. Okay, we can take you this lap. Okay, we're in. We're moving on to inters because in seems now. like everyone's stopping for inters right now. And I think I could get some seconds here and there as people 
you know, really run in to get some new tires and cause a traffic congestion here. Optimal, you love to see it. Come on, come on. There we go, 2.4. Come on, double stack, boys. Okay, we got maintained. Uh, we maintained position here. That's good. And here's the other good news. It's wet conditions. We can manage the tires. And if it stays wet for the rest of the Grand Prix, I think we can really try and see out the rest of the Grand Prix on these. I am the tire saving maestro after all. Whoa! Latifi just cut that corner, man. How is he allowed to keep that position? Bro, he just cut the corner. And who's behind me? Stop pushing me. Oh, Valtteri Bottas is out. Valtteri Bottas. So that's one less care to worry about. Up to P16 after the cheating Latifi is ahead of us still. He's made a gap of 7.6 seconds. Okay, I know these conditions look pretty terrible, but that water is draining okay. I think the okay. intermediate is going to stay the tire of choice for a while yet. Check your so it enters for, for a, a while, option. but there's a new strategy option telling us to go to wet. What? You s no. I declined. You guys said enters were good for the rest of the race or for a while. Why are we moving on to wets now? Hmm. Strange. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna ignore that from the team. They're pulling a Ferrari here. Let's see. Let's listen on weather. Okay, we think the underbodies incurred some what? slight damage, but nothing too serious at the moment. Just Who hit careful. me then? The rain looks like it's going to be getting much lighter over the next 10 to 15 minutes. There should be more grip, but don't expect a dry track yet. Inters look like the best tyre for now. So Inters are the best tyre for now, and you are telling me to go on to wets. You guys are on something, man. Okay, so my teammate made it through. I don't care. No. Why do you keep giving me wets? You guys are telling me enters are the best tires out there. Plus, someone has damaged my car. Someone ran me from behind, I think, because the rear end likes to go. So, someone just... Uh, had to do it. Someone didn't know how to drive, or maybe one of the braking points caused that. Okay, people are in the pits. But I think we're still good. I still have decent... I still have decent grip right now. So I'm not going to move on to the wets. I do gain two positions here. Am I pulling off a Yarno up mirror here maybe? Maybe. Weather report. Weather report. The rain looks like it's going to be getting much lighter over the next 10 to 15 minutes. There should be more grip, but don't expect a dry track yet. It's hard to say if inters or wets are better right now. Yep, I have the upper hand here. I'm going to suffer for at least like 2-3 laps and then we're going to be good. Come on, survive Sue, survive. Check That's my mission. For a new strategy option. Screw you man, Copy I'm not pulling a Ferrari mate. I'm not pulling a Ferrari. Vehicle condition. The underbody's taken a little damage, just watch out for it. We expect you'll be noticing a bit of grip loss in the tires around now, so just be careful. What is up with the AI doing those unbelievable stupid dive bombs? Like bro, wait your turn, buddy. Defending the inside line here, going on the outside. Dude, you're turning in on me, bro. What are you doing? Seriously. Okay, we've lost a position. That's us down a place. DNF this guy. DSQ this guy, man. Bro. What are you on, man? You literally cut me off. 
screw you, buddy. I'm okay. You know what? If I ever get close to Alcon, I'm ramming this guy off the track. Okay, here we go. It's soft compound tire time. Either we pit or we continue. What do we say? We're on 72% wear, meaning we're almost at puncture territory. And it's also ridiculous, by the way, that everyone's on wets and they're still faster than me. Those tires should be burning up. And because the AI does not experience heat in the tires, they don't have to care about that. They have ultimate grip, which is ridiculous. How hard is it to add tire temps in the game for the AI? It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Those tires should not be driving as fast as they are. They should be burning up really like borderline exploding. Like look at this. Uh, here we go. Look at this. 68 degrees centigrade, are you sure man? Look at this. How are your tires at 68 degrees centigrade when you're on wet on dry conditions? Makes absolute no sense to me whatsoever. Makes no sense whatsoever. Look, my tires are heating up to 84 right now. We may reach burning territory soon. Okay, Carlos Sainz has won it. Ferrari win today's Grand Prix. Dude, it's completely dry. And the AI is not struggling on the tires. What's going on? That makes no sense. You see, this is ridiculous. Alright, here we go. Final turns here. Don't know how I have this much grip right now. But it is what it is. I mean, the AI has all insane grip in the final lap, so... It is what it is, P15. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. What a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. Well, unbelievable scenes here as the AI was able to drive on dry conditions on wet tires very well. So I just don't know what the developers had in mind there. It makes absolute no sense whatsoever. Uh, unless they added the Slinter Mediates into the game, which I think was the case a little bit. Like my Inters were driving pretty well in the wet, uh, in the dry conditions in the final couple of laps. But I don't know what the AI is doing, man. It's a bit OP, too OP. Well, let's take a look here. Signs: Perez, Russell, Verstappen, Leclerc, Hamilton, Norris, Magnussen, Alonso, and Stroll in the top 10 points. Vettel, Albon, Schumacher, Ocon, myself, Latifi, Joe, Gasly, Sunoda, and Tictum round out the finishers with Bottas and Ricardo not finishing the race today as they get DNFs. Standings wise, let's see how that shifts anything. Not much has changed except for the bottom of the table. Norris overtakes Ricardo. Stroll overtakes Latifi, Tictum, and Albon as he scores his first point of the season. Constructor standings wise, Ferrari still in the lead. 238 point gap to Red Bull, who are now in P2, 7 points ahead of Mercedes. So it's a tight race for P2 at this time. We're still in P9 ahead of Aston Martin and Williams. So we'll see how this shuffles as the season progresses. Unbelievable how much dirty driving there was today. A lot of the AI's drivers just cutting corners and then pushing me off track to get positions. And also driving on wet in the dry conditions and still managing to put in like 
competitive lap times is unbelievable. Not something that you would likely see in real life. So it's unrealistic, absolutely unrealistic AI today. Uh, and it just shows that even with 105 AI, we're slow in qualifying. And with 110 AI, we can stay at least a little competitive. Uh, but the AI does do these dirty little tricks to try and get ahead of you. So yeah, I just don't know what to say, guys. I really don't know what to say with the AI. It's just ridiculous. But overall, I would say we had a good race overall. The intermediate stint was very good. We managed to stay ahead um, and stay, keep the tires alive until the end. 83% wear, I believe. So that is quite impressive to be able to manage the tires up until that point. So we'll move on to the next one, which is the Hungarian Grand Prix, which is also uh, the weekend that I'm recording this. So hopefully the race was a good one. Uh, but we'll see how well we can do in Hungary. It's a difficult track for us. We'll see if we are still... Uh, bad at it as we go into the um the hungarian grand prix and the new f122 game so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that like button subscribe use the red button down below hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next more f1 content will be coming up on the channel so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out thank you guys so much for your support thank you so much for coming back after my long break of medical issues take care of yourselves stay safe stay healthy see you guys in the next grand prix